Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and we're building another little base in the swamps, but I'm a little worried about this one. I searched this swamps all over. I think I've got pretty much, like, there's there's really nothing left. I It, it turns into plains, you get over there, and it turns into mountains over there. There's really, this isn't super big, and I've searched everywhere, and I just, I wasn't inspired by any spot, but... I thought it would be fun to bring you on a fun little struggle of, I think I can make this spot work, you know? Where you pass by and you're like, that's okay, but I think I could find a better spot. Well, I didn't. So <laughs> we're gonna go struggle and try to build something out of this. I had a plan. Like there was a plan. I was, it was gonna be a tree house. We're still gonna try and make a tree house, but I just don't know how this one's gonna go because uh, the shape I was thinking of is not gonna work. So anyway, I'm rambling way too much. Let me go ahead and run you out to the spot because I've got it picked out. And we'll get to build it, and hopefully we can make something cool. I'm, I'm excited to try. It's all in the efforts. All right, here we go. Ready, sprint. We're already sprinting, but here we, here we go. See you out there. <laughs> what a lovely day. In the swamps. Wait. That's right. This way. Oh yeah, we're gonna work in one of these too. It's gonna be part of the build. We're capturing it, we're claiming it. Right here, this is it. I've searched this whole swamps, and this is the one spot where I was like, you know, maybe I can make something out of these two trees together. I really just wanted one tree, I wanted one tree, but man, I don't like any of the spots in this swamp. So we're gonna sail to a different swamp in the next episode. I'm, I'm gonna, after this build, we're, we're sailing around. I'm gonna find me a big swamps and uh yeah we're gonna build somewhere else but today we're building here let's see what we can do all right i'm gonna toss another workbench up here they're always pretty safe up here okay now then how to start what do we want to do what do i want to do probably gonna use a little more metal today not like a crazy amount not a ton but enough hey what do you think you're doing Bad. <laughs> Get out of here. We're working. Okay, I guess the first thing I want to do is kind of like draw a shape around these trees. We're going to start with... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Um, let's see here. Yeah, they actually kind of line up pretty well, I think. So let's go ahead and just like start with one like right here put it inside the tree just a little bit so it's got support yeah why not let's just build up from there <laughs> i don't know about this guys i don't know about this one we're gonna try though it's gonna be awesome the trick is to not think about it too hard three three is pretty tall we might want uh, we want we might want another half Heck yeah, ladders. Hold me up. Maybe like that? Maybe? Oh, we've moved away from the tree. That's for sure. It's okay. Oh, we'll actually snap that in place when I get up there. Pop. But for now, we'll just do that. Let's grab some more stairs. We gotta be careful today. I mean, to be honest, I can't get hurt. Um, but, but if you're building it with heights in the game, you gotta build platforms, man. Don't skimp on the platforms. They'll save your life. Get your scaffolding. There you go. Alright. <laughs> now then. What to do from here? I wanna build. I need, I need some flooring. Just come on. There it is. Alright, now I feel safer. Ooh. Okay, now I can walk. I can breathe. Woo! All right. Let's, well, uh... I don't know. We, won't, we don't want to get too far away from the tree, so let's do, like, one. We'll, we'll put a half on each side and call it one, right? And then let's do a single angle. Ah, I don't know about that rounded. Maybe double. Eh, we might need some more space than that. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Do this. Let's tightrope it. Oh man. Oh yeah, it's gonna be nice and round, but you know what? The front is where the view is. I mean, look at that, it's awesome. Who wants to look at that? Plus, actually, it'll keep the, the raid software, but all right, yeah, no, let's go with it. 
Let's get it nice and round like that. Okay. Ba -ba. Oh man, we need some. We need some more flooring. Oh man. Ooh, that's pretty far away from the tree. Yeah, I think it's time to start bringing it. Oh man, we're gonna have to start connecting again. Okay. We can do that. Let's actually follow the flooring out. How about that? Oh, it's so close. Why wouldn't that connect? Does that line? That doesn't line up. Weird. Why not? I am confused. Oh no, actually, it kind of does. Oh, look at that, actually. And now we have support. Well, it kind of worked out in a weird way. I like it. Let's keep it. Haha, <laughs> it works. Okay. Ooh. Oh, we need a workbench up here. Go right there. Stay. Yeah, actually, and that lines up with this. Look at that. Well, doesn't that work out? Copy that pattern. Let's just get like a, a half, a half, uh, what? No, crescent, like a little crescent thing. Yeah, let's just get kind of. Okay, okay. I'm starting to see something. It's coming together. <laughs> I, I had absolutely no plan. I mean, I there was a like I said, there was a plan and it fell apart. Uh, so we'll try and do that in the next episode. waffle <laughs> I don't know why it's got me thinking of waffles but actually yes I do but guys look at that foundation that turned out pretty cool I actually can't believe we have pretty decent foundation out here I'll probably build some little supports going back underneath if I can if I can get up here oh this is awesome there we go a little extra support right there got some branches sticking through but that's okay. Most of them are behind us. This one is a little bit in the way. That little growth right there. But actually, we might use that for something. <laughs> we may use that for more stairs and go up higher. Oh, okay. All right. Why not? More support. It's all about the support. Just make sure it's connected to the tree. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, this is looking good. This is looking good. Let me throw some flooring down. We're not going to do anything crazy with the floor. The floor is already going to be pretty big all on its own. All right, trying to keep as much of this pattern as we can. Snap that in real good. There we go. Eventually, we're going to have to start twisting pieces. Yeah, I'll probably just do the, the little one pieces here, but I'm trying to use up as many of them as I can and fill in as much as possible. Yeah, and then I'm just going to follow the edge of the floor all the way around, just like this. Why would that come up short? It came up a little short, didn't it? Looks like it really did. Anyway. Just like this. Sealing all those holes. It gives it kind of a border, like an outline. We're going to cover it up anyway. Even if you don't like it, it's going to get covered up. The decorations will see to it. That's when everything always blends together the best. Bam! Look at this floor! Guys, this is awesome. All right. I'd call this a success. This tree's going to have to go. It's blocking my view. Or should we keep it? I don't know. Maybe we should keep it. Okay. Well, then. Let's see. Do we want to roof the entire thing? I guess. Well, I guess next we should do stairs. Stairs is uh, important. 
if I recall, the trees actually have a gap between them. It would be really cool to get like a spiral staircase to go through that. Like how awesome would that be? Should it be a normal staircase down there? I don't know. Let's do both and see what see what works. Okay, let's just try stairs. Normal stairs. And I want them to snap to the floor. So yeah, let's make sure they snap to okay. There we go. This will actually help. One tick. One little rotation. Oh boy. Looks like it's going to need support already, which is fine. Sit down, get that lower camera angle. Okay, well that gave it enough support, support to let us keep it there. Can we add this one? Yeah, can we add it on to the end? There it is. Nice. Okay, okay. Now we can keep going. We've got some more support. Yeah, see, that's the crazy thing about trees. Building on trees. You can just continuously find more support for yourself. Everywhere. Scoop up the extras. Alright. Let's build a ladder up here from here. Go. Lots of scaffolding. Lots of stairs. Wooden ladders are the best. Best building buddy you could ask for. <laughs> and quickly, maybe something about maybe right there. Maybe right about there. Hey, look at that. Okay. But I need to ah, there we go. No, come on, hop up on the ladder. There we go. Can we get past it and snap it. Yes! And that gives us support. Look at that. It's awesome. Okay. Keep it coming. Yeah, instead of going completely circle, circular here. Uh, well, no, you know what? Let's do it. Let's go circular, but let's keep it a little smaller. That's all. Okay, I feel like that's not going to hold. I really want it to. Oh, actually, look at that. It did. It worked. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we want to bring it all the way around, actually. Let's, let's do that. technically be this one. Oh, is it gonna it's gonna work? Oh yes, look at that! Guys, that's fantastic. Okay, okay, and then we continue the stairs from there. Support right here looks like. Hurry before it breaks. There we go. <laughs> And straight down into the yard. Oh, man! Look at this! There's no floor here. Okay. <laughs> Don't run off yet. Uh, let me slap this flooring on. We're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to build out with a straight pattern as much as I can, and then we'll kind of, like, do a border all the way around with the little one-by-ones. There we go. I just like the way that fits better. A little bit of an odd spacing there, but that's okay. We made it work. Look at this! Oh my gosh. All right, we want to double up on the stairs cuz we're going a little bigger, you know? We're getting we're getting further into the builds in the swamps. We need to make some bigger, badder bases. So we're going all out on this staircase. This is awesome. And just so easy to do with these uh 
But these big trees, man, these are awesome. I mean, building with pine trees in the Black Forest is, is awesome, but it's also kind of risky, you know? <laughs> uh, you do need to defend them pretty well. Each one of these junctions is going to need a little bit of this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you'd never know. It'll look, it's a little easier with these ones. You can just put two, um, all I'm going to do is put two across like this. And you're pretty much golden. Uh-oh. That. We'll have to swap that one. I want all these uh, wood beams to be underneath. Yeah, like this one. So we'll have to just fix that one real quick in a minute. But that shouldn't take but a second. Uh-oh, everybody. I think I messed up. So, yeah. All right. So things are going to get a little weird. I, well, not really. I just have to build out again. Um, this really only works if you snap them on the outside and keep them together. And I'm going to have to do it like this. It's a pretty elaborate staircase. You can do it on the inside, but they start overlapping really hard, and then by the time you get to the top, there's yeah, there's this corner that you just can't walk up, and I just I just I prefer to be able to walk up the whole thing. And this way we can. It's it's a little more elaborate, but you can. So I'm just going to go and snap another stair onto the outside of all the stairs that we already have, and then we're going to add on some more flooring ah, to create a seamless step. The railing's really going to help hide any kind of flaws or inconsistencies, too. Nice. And we will come back and work on the railings in just a minute. I kind of want to get to the walls and roofs up here right now, uh, but we'll come back and work on the railing here, and I'll show you what I do for this, because uh, I swear to look at it. I swears. I swears it. Oh, you know, this works out. We could actually have, like, a front door here now. Um, I might build myself a nice little porch out here. That looks good. Just like that. Look at that. All right. We'll have to get underneath and add some actual support to it. But for now, I'm going to keep it like that. I'll just snap that in just like that. Just to, just to finish it up. There we go. Now it's all solid. One piece. Look at this. Oh, man. This is so cool. Okay. So, walls. I want one side of this to be completely walled in and, like, livable sleeping space. And then some of it I just want to be roofed but completely open, you know? So let's let's pick a bedroom size because I think that's you know we'll, we'll pick out like a comfort bedroom area, which is probably gonna be back here. Should we toss a window, corner window, maybe? Nice. Okay. I'm going to do some outlining. You know me. This always has to happen. Especially when you build on like uneven structures and, and uneven flooring like this. It just kind of helps seal everything up. Always makes stuff look nice. <laughs> I'm sorry if this episode started out kind of weird. I had this plan. I was like, oh man, I'm going to pick a tree. And I just wanted one tree. I wanted, I wanted this to work on one tree. I didn't plan on two trees. I... But my gosh, I I checked everywhere, guys. I, I checked this whole swamp, and I just could not find a spot that spoke to me. You know how that is. Somebody's got to know how that is. You just like, ah, none of these spots really uh, are doing it. I don't know if I'm going to live in any of these, you know? <laughs> uh, I thought this one was okay. That's why I had the torches out here. I marked it. And I thought, you know, it actually it would be pretty funny just to just to get out here and try. So I'm sorry if we got off to like a weird start, but man, we're rolling now. This place is looking cool. 
I'm really excited to, to keep going on this now. We, we've got an idea. It's all coming together. And the decoration always brings everything together. You can hide a lot of flaws. But just little stuff like this, like what I'm doing right now. Look at that. Bam. That hides that little gap that was there. Because there was. There was a little gap. All right, I want to do an overlapping roof again. Because I really like that. It was really cool. It's really easy to do, too. At least the way I like to do it. I'm just going to do this right here. Actually, you know what? Even easier. I'm just going to do this. There we go. And that's got to be built out the whole way around. So we're going to uh, go ahead and climb up here. There we go. We're going to go ahead and do that the entire way around this house. Oh, we're getting into some weird snap points now. <laughs> we can do this. means another wall needs to go here. I do want to keep this roof kind of low. We don't want to get crazy. Uh, the thing about this base is it's going to be, I think we're going to turn it into just a big, you know, it's already pretty spiral, but I think we're going to incorporate a lot of um, doo -doo -doo -doo, right down here into the build too. I'm going to just include this thing like we own it. <laughs> and probably set up the smelters and kilns all the way around it too. Oh, it's going to be cool. This is going to look nice. There it is. <laughs> nice. One more. Can we squeeze one more in there? Just let me snap one more into the tree. I'll be so happy. There we go. All right. Now let's start the roofing. We're going to stick with the low roof. Ah, let's get up there, actually. Let's walk on there. Yeah, it'll be easier this way. Aha. We have another corner here, too. There we go. Gonna have to overlap that one, which is a little bit of a bummer, but that's okay. There we go. And then you just snap it to the outside. Look at that. It gives your house this extra little dimension. Isn't that cool? I like it. I think it's fun. There we go. And the thing about working with the easy, uh, the one uh, rotation. It always seems to blend really easy. These 26 uh, degree roofs always seem to blend really easy. I love them for that. Just makes life easier. Nice. Actually, let me do this. Nice. That blends that together pretty well, doesn't it? Why does that one seem wrong? That, one's, that one didn't feel right. There it is. Yeah, no, that still blends in pretty good. All right, we'll come back and figure out that little triangle here in a second. I think we can throw another corner here and get away with it. Hey, not there. There we go. Yeah. You know what? Just to blend it a little more, we're going to sink one of these in right there. Another one in right... Nope, I don't know where that went. <laughs> Snap that one in there. Oh, yeah, that seemed to round it out nicely. All right. That seems completely sealed up. We'll have to go inside and double check, but it looks good for now. Okay, it looks like we can get a corner in right here, <laughs> but what are we going to do for the rest of it? Can we just toss in three corners? They'll overlap a little funny, but maybe it'll make a cool pattern. Better idea. One, two, three. If I can get a good snap point for this one. Ah, there's a good one. Ah, here we go. I'm free placing this one. We're just going to cover up that gap right there, just like that. There we go. Oh, my gosh. Let's just put a little detail on the end of each one. Why not? I don't mind. I think it looks pretty good. Look at that. Nice. Let's go see if that's all roofed in. How's it feel inside? Ooh. Oh, gosh. Sorry about that. Sneezed out of nowhere. Yeah, this is the one. No, we don't need that one. There we go. That helps seal that up a little bit better. Yeah, nice. That's actually not a bad roof at all. And we are. We have shelter all the way around in here. All right, let's go ahead and get these windows set up a little better. What do you say?
Definitely need to be built down just a little bit. No, all right, let's go with the bigger windows. Just seal it up just like that. Do I still have shelter right up against it? No, but that's okay. We'll put a nice little barrier, some table or chair, you know, that's the, that's my, that's what I do. The window is not providing you shelter, just stay away from it. <laughs> oh, uh, oh no, we hit the workbench outside, didn't we? No! Hang on, I gotta craft another hammer. Just tossing a bunch of these two meter beams across the top. It kind of brings it closer to the ceiling, that little gap that we made, um, by adding in that little extra outside piece. And then just add these little flaps. There we go. Nice. All right. All right, let's go ahead and add our railings in everywhere. And I guess these are gonna be more than just railings. Um, they're also gonna be uh, Um, pillars, and they're going to support a roof all of their own. Like, I do want all of this roof. But, we're going to keep it pretty low, and I think we're going to use a nice little uh, rounded kind of like one of these going on kind of thing. Yeah. It's going to look good. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. And I want to hopefully build it right into that roof if we can around this branch, but I don't know, I could be shooting for the stars at this point. This place, uh... <laughs> I was so... I was so discouraged from trying to build this today. I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I hope it turns out okay. And now I'm like, oh no, this is gonna be great. This is... This is awesome. Hope you guys are excited too. This is turning into a cool little build, actually. Yeah, nice. Alright, you know what? While we're doing railings, let's just go ahead and do all this too. So let me just go ahead and outline everything. We're gonna outline the entire... You know, all of it. We're gonna do the stairs. And, yep, there we go, stairs and then flooring, uh, stairs and then flooring. Let me just go ahead and do all the stairs real quick. So on the inside, it, it works out really well that that's just like super smooth and that's not even going to be a problem for us. Uh, the railing is going to turn out really well right there. But, uh, this side's a little different. It's not going to turn out bad, I promise, I promise. Alright, all I think I'm, I'm... All right, all I'm gonna do from the inside is just follow every, yeah, now we're gonna start turning. So the first two should be, yeah, straight to straight, and then you start turning them one little, one little corner at a time. I always think it looks, it gives it a little, gives it a little more of a rounded look, keeps it going. And then let's go back down with these again. Insta railings. Bam, nope, wrong, bad, there we go. <laughs> Okay, for this side. See what I'm doing? I'm hoping this turns out as cool as I think it will. I swear I've done this before. <laughs> All right, and then hopefully this actually works out the way I want it to. I'm just gonna go back and add these in with the stairs, just all the stairs. We're gonna work our way back up with the horizontal pieces. But they go on the outsides. There we go, just like that. There we go. Yeah, that looks fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. That's pretty cool. Nice. That is quite the staircase. I still think the stairs need more support underneath. Like, it makes me want to get underneath them and, like, continue. Yeah, they seem kind of hollow with just the little twigs sticking out and <laughs> just touching them on the side, but that's okay. We'll get to that in a minute. Oh, no, no, no. We're, what are we doing? We're not done yet. There's still all of this. Let's go, railings. Go. Look at that staircase, man. 
yeah it needs a little bit more support but i'm loving this that is that is a workout that's epic <laughs> all right let's try and add some beams and some roofing here Really, all I wanted to do was keep the roof super ro low and kind of um, flat like this. And I'm thinking I can achieve that with these because the more, yeah, the more inward we go and the tighter the spiral gets, the more they seem to overlap each other, which is awesome. It's perfect. It's just, just what I'm looking for. There we go, that looks good enough. All right, and then the secret here, because I actually don't want to look at this all the time. We're gonna go ahead and build ourselves a flooring down, just like this, all the way around, and it's gonna seal this place in a little bit better, just so we don't have to look at all that jumble of angled mess. There, that's what we're There we go, we just start following that little pattern all the way down here little overlap there but that's okay do it again and again and right here gosh that sun is terrible right now you know what stop it <laughs> we'll tear those down after but right now I just I just I just don't need the sun in my face Side, is it ah just the tiniest bit i'm gonna live with it you know it's not bad it's actually not bad yeah look at that that's awesome very cozy very low roofed all right we need some more support under all of this though definitely need a little more support let me go and do that really quick because that's gonna take a minute <laughs> Oh, maybe not. Hey, look, we still have our ladder set up. Hmm, maybe it won't take as long as I thought. Oh my gosh, eat something. Oh my gosh, <laughs> we're going to get ourselves killed out here. Oh yeah. Guys, this place came together so well. I was so confused at the beginning of the day. I really didn't know what I was going to do. Like I said, my, my idea was actually just for one tree, and I had this real cool plan, and... Well, that all got fumbled. But I hope you enjoyed this one. This is looking pretty sweet. I think this is going to, I think I'm going to call it the shell. This is the shell. Uh, we will do some ground shaping down below. Um, like I said, um, I definitely want to get into, uh, we're going to shape the ground around here a little bit. We're probably going to put up a little dis defensive wall around this thing. And we're going to claim this, uh, this crypt is our own. I'm probably just going to build right off the sides of it and turn it into like, you know, the, the family shed out back or something. <laughs> uh, my own personal crypt. It's going to be awesome. But yeah, I got to get rid of all these ladders and actually start decorating this place. That was that was quite difficult. Uh, but like I said, with, with, um, with trees, it's just so cool because you can have support, you know, everywhere. Uh, as long as you can get a beam over and connect it to the tree, you've got a little bit of support to play with. So these big staircases are super easy to make, super fun. Oh, there's that world save. <laughs> and yeah, I think it came out pretty good. I didn't want to build around this side. It had too many branches and other things. And I think... Uh, oh, that, that was kind of funny. There it goes. Uh, and I think in one of the other builds, I may actually just do like some bridging and some other, you know, connect some other trees together. That would be really cool. But I wanted to keep this one a little simple. We're still just getting a little started. We may use a little bit of iron may like to use a little bit of iron just to give it a little bit of a character just uh i don't know iron is really fun to play with i really like the way iron makes things look um i don't know though we might not uh, i don't i don't want to go super crazy with it um well, who knows maybe i'll do something with it will also i'll try to surprise but yeah i'm probably repeating myself but i feel really weird about it like i really i don't know guys i hope this one came out well i hope you liked it let me go decorate it and we'll see what it turns into in just a little while, hey?
All right. Yeah, this place came together pretty well for something that I just kind of tossed together. I mean, <laughs> uh, if you couldn't tell at the beginning of the video, I was not confident about this build. It was kind of off the cuff, and it wasn't what I had in mind. It wasn't what I had planned, but it was it was something fun to struggle through, and I think it came together pretty good. In fact, I think that's, that's some of the better builds. I really do love just, like, getting a bunch of build, like, getting, getting a bunch of ideas out, you know? Like, this don't don't plan too hard i mean obviously planning really helps out it makes an awesome base i'm not saying don't plan but sometimes improvising really leads to something pretty cool and i think that's what we have here anyway let's go take a look around so got a little bit of a trail out here we'll do our nighttime walkthrough guys join me for the nighttime walkthrough uh really had fun putting these pillars up and just using some of these i went a little crazy with you know just stone uh, but hey we're getting deeper into the swamps so I'm going to use a lot more stone and a lot more iron in the next couple of builds. Um, been really loving these log beams on top of the stone for some reason. And I really like these kind of like lower defensive walls for this place. Like this place isn't built up necessarily, but like the swamp is also low. And then, you know, this we just built to the size of, of this thing. Really loved incorporating this into the build too. Whoops, didn't mean to walk in there. Actually meant to shut that gate again. Oh no, can we not shut it? Can you not shut these once they're open? That's silly. Is that a thing? Is that a real thing? I didn't, I don't think I actually, hmm. I probably knew that and just forgot, but that's a stinker. I kind of, kind of almost wish I would have left it closed now, but oh well, that's no big deal. Really loved working that into the, into the build. I've been really having a lot of fun incorporating um, just little sitting areas. Cause I feel like if you get some buddies playing, if you got multiplayer, you just want some place for everybody to meet and share stories and like, hey, what'd you do today? I did this, I did that, you know? really like little waiting areas i like this one because it's close enough to that fire right there to give us an actual comfort bonus right here even though it's only one uh or is it going yeah there it is is it on this side okay it's on this side either way that's a pretty cool little shelter area we got our blacksmith and forge in here look at this nice and cluttery got our forge right here that's pretty awesome really like these oh let me get these going so we can see these you know i always forget to get these loaded hang on yeah there we go and you can access both sides, you know, from outside and inside. It, it, they're, they're, they're both, they're, it's all visible. It's all easy to get to. And then it all just spits out right here, nice and easy for you to collect. I like this little cluttery thing. I really like work, I really liked uh, working everything around this, uh, this little crypt here. Like we claimed it and called it our own. That's really cool, actually. I really like how this shed turned out. Super storage right here. Nice little coal basin over here for you to collect coal. Got our stone cutter over here with a nice ring of stone. I don't know why I like this so much, but it looked really good. And then up here is just kind of like a watchtower area. We can come up here and just kind of keep an eye on the front gate, keep an eye on our surroundings. I really like this. I don't know, man. This just came out so well. Um, yeah, the roofing up here was pretty easy. We kept it pretty low. Yeah, it's just a, what is it? Four of these uh, little uh, roof caps but this third one right here I kind of place so if you place two of them so I've been doing this a lot lately actually so if you place two of these uh, if you place two of these side by side snap then you can kind of place another one right in the middle well it's a little tricky to do but uh, that's what I did up there <laughs> you can you can see it we'll go back up and take another look I'll do it again in another video I'm sure ah all right let's just take the normal way up hang on yeah, you can see it. It's kind of built in. I actually think it snapped to the top of these two uh, little X beams right there, so that worked out really well. Um, the other thing down here that I really liked is just this big shed, this little overhanging shed. This thing turned out pretty good. Nice storage area for everything. Really like it, too. It looks good. I don't know, man. This space just came together. It's always the decoration. You know, you build the shell, and you're like, yeah, that's cool. But uh, you got to get the decoration going to really, like, bring it all together. Really like this spot. This is nice just for hunting, um, uh, what do you call them? The wraiths, so they come by and you can just shoot them down from here really easy. We even got a little sitting area right here with some snacks for us to hang out with, you know? <laughs> uh, it's super cozy, super duper cozy. I really like this staircase. The staircase and the support really brought it all together. And this was actually Timely's idea to hang all of these, um, these braziers kind of from the stairs like this. But man, I got to give him credit because that looks awesome. That really gave this place a little bit of character and life. I really like it. Up here, we've got some great views. And we mostly face our views toward the ocean. We can see silhouettes of other landscapes out there. And during the day, it looks really awesome. We may swap to some daytime here in a minute just so you can see it. But lots of storage, lots of cluttery workspace area. 
Now, I had to build this in a little bit differently to actually make sure that this workbench would work for us. And now that it works, it's pretty cool. And it really doesn't do anything to, like, diminish the view or the outside or the roof or anything. Uh, and it, it, it just ends up looking really good. And then, of course, our nice, cozy little bedroom. Lots of windows. This place is super open. I, I normally don't build stuff so open with so many windows, but uh, thankfully we're keeping the shelter bonus everywhere. I think that's because of the way that we did the roof outside. Um, yeah, just that little overlap, I think, is finally giving us, like, letting us keep that shelter bonus right up to the windows. But nice and cluttered in here. Nice cooking area. Don't mind the charcoal. Don't worry about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, not bad for a base that I really had no confidence in when we started. You know, when I started at the beginning of this morning, I was like, ah, I don't know, man. I don't, I just might want to skip my build and move on to the next biome. Not biome, but the next swamp. I am going to be sailing around looking for a different swamps. This swamps, yeah, this swamp has very little in the way of, like, inspirational uh, areas to build in for me right now. So we're going to be sailing around looking for another swamp so I can start building afresh in a different swamp somewhere nearby. Hopefully a bigger one. I'd really like to get a really big swamps and check that out but anyway everybody i guess i'm gonna go ahead and let that wrap up the episode for today this place came out pretty cool uh again leave some awesome nicknames or comments below and let me know what you think this place should be called i'm gonna stop trying and coming up i'm gonna stop trying to come up with super clever names for these places i'll name them pretty simple and i'm gonna leave it to all you awesome wanderers to give me cool names so get on that let's do it <laughs> let's get some names going but yeah, I think the decoration really brought this place together. And honestly, just adding on this down, this this area down here is pretty cool. And I have a lot of fun decorating. And honestly, I take way more time decorating than I do actually building sometimes. And uh, you guys let me know in the comments below if you would like to see my decoration process and like experience that with me. I'd love to cut that into another episode for you guys to see if that's something you're interested in. I, I honestly don't know. I don't think that a lot of my, my, my uh, decoration skills are like super top tier or anything but if there's anything you guys want me to like walk you through or show you or if you just like to see a decoration process or two uh you know after the fact I, I can record and cut some of that together it'll probably be a totally different episode there'll be the build and then the decoration but either way you know uh if you guys like if you wanted to see all of this come together down here uh could have done that i guess i don't know let me know in the comments below Hey everybody, if you had fun watching this build, do me a favor, smash that like button and be sure to subscribe if you want to continue the adventures in the build through. We're going to stay in the swamps, but we're getting to, I think the next one will be our fourth build in the swamp. So I'm going to try and get a little crazier, a little bigger, probably a little more complicated. I feel like this one was pretty complicated, but mostly because I didn't have a plan. So if you were trying to follow along with this one, it was probably pretty hard to follow along because I didn't have a process. I was just kind of making it up as I went along. Also, if you're using the Valheimians webpage and this one eventually comes out, like, what, a week or two from now, whatever, um, and you're trying to place this one, good luck. I really don't know how well this one's going to place. Uh, you're really going to have to find some trees that, that work well. It'll be really hard to... I'm going to put it on Valheimians for everybody to use and copy if they want to and download, but ooh, this one will be tricky to place. Anyway, everybody, that's enough of me rambling. Thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out. I hope you're having a great day. Have a great rest of your day. But I hope to catch all you awesome, amazing wanderers watching the next build-through video. And until then, enjoy your adventures in Valheim. I'll see you later.